Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here and we're continuing our around the world tour of different versions of the Masked Singer. And right now we're gonna jump across the pond to the UK to go over everything you know about their season two that's coming up very shortly of The Masked Singer. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So first I want to say hey everyone from the UK, we do have a lot of viewers from Ireland, Scotland if I remember correctly, I know a lot of people obviously from Britain, but still, hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new to this and you came on here because you watched the video on YouTube in the UK, we do videos about the Masked Singer, mostly in America, but sometimes we adventure out to different versions such as the UK, Australia, and we just did a video about Arabia, we have a couple other ones about Germany, so on and so forth. So welcome to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed, by the way. I'm very excited about this video because I actually watched this version of The Masked Singer, or at least season one, which had eight episodes, and of course Australia. So I'm actually really, really excited about this, and I can't wait to tell you guys about everything we know because this past weekend, and really this past, what now, we're eight days into the month, a lot of things came out, and so I want to talk about all of them now. Starting off with, we finally know who's going to be replacing Ken on your show. We also know the costumes, the premiere day, all that stuff. Let me go ahead and play the trailer that just came out. Now, I did have to take the audio out because copyright's going to hit me and take the video down, but um, here you go. No messing, just get guessing. Justin Timberlake. Bruno Mars. Mel B. Oh! Rita's got it. Dean Gaffney. I have to say your timing was impeccable. <laughs> Mel, don't encourage it. Wow. That was so wow. good. Who is that? Who's How awesome is that? There's a lot of things going on. Let's talk about some things first. If you've never seen the UK version of the show, US folks, it's pretty much like ours, and I'll read you the description they have for this season. This singing competition is described as a surreal and surprising guessing game that will see 12 famous faces compete to pull off the best performance with their identity concealed behind the mask. And I mean, that's pretty much what you call the regular mask singer, but they now have 12 for this season, which is awesome. The show will debut its second season on Boxing Day, which is December 26th. I know a lot of people in the US have no idea what Boxing Day is because I had to Google it. And a Boxing Day, according to Google, is a day off for servants. And the day when they receive a special Christmas box from their masters. So I'm assuming this is something that relates back to like the late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, and that's where you get the Boxing Day. Anyway, let's go into the judges. Everyone is returning except for one. The returning judges are Jonathan Ross, uh, gosh, I'm gonna screw up names, I'm sorry, Divine and McCall, and Rita Ora. Of course, Ken is not making it over to the UK for this version of the show. I'm assuming because this show started filming in September, our version of The Masked Singer was filming, actually was kind of just finishing up, but then we jumped into Masked Dancer. So Ken probably was kind of tied up with that. And with COVID, he probably couldn't fly over to the UK and have two weeks of quarantine. I think now it's 10. So it's unfortunate, but they do have someone new taking his place. Please welcome Joel Dumet. I'm not really good with names, as you could tell so far. So he'll be taking Ken's spot. Now, what is awesome about this version of the show is that their costumes are gorgeous. I mean, you go through all the different versions of the show. Uh, obviously, we haven't talked about Israel yet, but they have an amazing costume. Germany's, I think, has the best out of everyone's. Mexico's really, were really amazing this past year. Australia did a great job. I think every single version of the show are kind of competing with each other to have the better costumes. And let me tell you, 
the costumes which were just revealed, literally, I want to say like four days ago, are amazing. Let's go through some of them real quick. We have the alien, the sausage, the dragon, the seahorse, the viking, the blob. Yes, it's called the blob. We have the Harquin, which is more like a joker, a joster. What did they call them like back in the old days? It was a king's joker, right? I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Let me Google this. A comic servant. So there Sorry, you go. I didn't understand. I didn't ask you anything, Siri. Or Google, whatever you are. Or did I? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we see a swan. We see a bush baby, we see a badger, a robin, and a grandfather clock, which I love the grandfather clock. I don't know when I saw it, I just thought of Beauty and the Beast. I don't know why, that's just what happened to me. Now, there is one thing I wanna talk about. This show, this version of it, has a live audience, which they're going through a different process than what we have right now. You know, they have the vaccine. I think that already came out to them, I think, today. Today, Tuesday. Today's the first day they get the vaccine. I don't know how they did it. Maybe they did it with a lot of screening and maybe you had to show tests showing that it was negative before you came in. I don't really know. That's just something that they haven't reported on yet. But there is one thing I want to talk about. The Sun reported this and a couple other ones that were saying that a lot of people who went to the taping, unfortunately are coming out and leaking a lot of information. And I know a lot of difference between their version and our version is that ours, when they when it's time to take off the mask, Nick kind of like struggles taking off the mask and he's like, oh, I can't get it off. And then they start recording and then everyone leaves and then they remove the mask. That way, the only people who know who's under the mask are the executive producers, the people working on the show, and a few other folks here and there. With the UK version, supposedly, according to the Sun article, this could be wrong, well, sometimes the Sun is wrong, they said that people are there for the reveal, and it is causing a lot of gossip and a lot of spoils to be released, and um, I don't want to talk about that, because I did read a few names and I don't want to go ahead and say them, because it kind of ruins the fun of it all. I mean, what we do doesn't ruin the fun. It's, you know, we use clues and things, but what they were doing, just kind of coming out and saying who it is, it's like, oh, come on. Come on, we don't do that. That's no fun. Now, there is another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about this show. They have a new after show that's called The Masked Singer Unmasked. And let me tell you, we used to have something similar to this, if you remember, it was like After the Mask. And they're bringing it back for the entire series. So for all, I think it's what they're looking at, um, eight or nine episodes, they get 12 contestants. If they all do one, except for the season finale, we could have eight or nine, depending on how they do it. But they're gonna have that completely going on. The gentleman named Will will be hosting it, bringing on guests, having on people who are revealed, and let me tell you, I'm actually excited for that, and I really want them to bring it back in the States. Whether it is Joel, actually, you know what? Even better, Fox, I know you're watching. Can you have Joel host the After the Mask or Unmask or whatever you want to call it? That would be amazing. Or you can let Nick do it, it's totally up to you. But I figured that would be kind of cool. Let's bring that back. Now, my question for you is, are you gonna watch this version of the show? I personally, I, th I can't wait. I, and to me, just looking at their costumes right now, because some of these are extremely, extremely goofy. I mean, go ahead, look at the grandfather clock. That is hilarious. Looking at the Viking, he can't even see over his eyes. It makes you wonder how the person in the costume is going to be able to look through there. I really like the way that they did their seahorse. It's different than ours. It looks like it lights up a little bit as well. And I really like the blob. The blob is really, really goofy looking. It's something like the squiggly monster in a little bit, because this one has, what, four eyes, and the squiggly monster had, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eyes. So, anyway, let me know in the comments section, are you guys, A, going to watch? B, do you want me to cover it? I don't know, you guys asked me before to cover it. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to cover it. But um, anyway, thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I think tomorrow's version, based on what you guys are voting for, which I don't know if you know this, I'm actually going through the comment section and looking up things you guys are asking me to go through, different versions of the show, and that's why the UK version came up. A lot of you guys want me to do Israel, which 
I'm probably going to do tomorrow because a lot of you guys are like, hey, you kind of owe it to them. And I kind of do. They just had their season finale a few days ago. So we're going to do that. A couple other things you guys voted for. Another one was Mexico, which, you know, a lot of my favorite costumes came from that version of the show. Another one was Germany. So we got two more there. And a couple voted for Luthiania. I can't pronounce it. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at it. I'm sorry. But we'll go through some of these. And uh, go through the comment section and let me know what you want to see next. Anyway, I'm Joey. Thank you again. And you guys stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye.